Good day everybody and once again we are back together. Okay, we are looking at um, question 6 of the November 2021 paper. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, uh, for those of you who are still going into metric or you know, uh, uh, for those who will still be continuing, okay, uh, right, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And uh, please just tell all your, you know, your friends, your cousins, uh, you know, everyone that uh, you're learning here and will continue to just uh, be the plug when it comes to physical science. All right. Uh, for those who need assistance, uh, they can also contact me at uh, the following email address. It's info at mlungesingosi.co.za. Right. Let's quickly have a look at this question on the Doppler effect. Okay, so they say the siren of a stationary ambulance emits sound waves at a constant frequency of 680. So remember, that's the frequency of the source there. Uh, so that's 680. They say a man standing with a detector that records the wavelength of sound uh, emitted by the siren as shown in the diagram below. So there's our man there uh, recording. Okay, and uh, the speed of sound in air is 340. Okay, they say calculate the wavelength uh, uh, of the detected sound. Okay, now please I want you to note in this case, uh, because both the ambulance and the man are stationary, uh, it would mean that the frequency of the source should be equal to the detected frequency. Okay, so what we're looking for now is the wavelength, right? So... Um, so I'm going to say for 6.1, uh, remember that we've got a formula V is equals to F multiplied by lambda. Okay, uh, so remember in this case, uh, the speed is not the speed of the ambulance or the man, it is the speed of sound. Keep that in mind. So this is going to be 340. We know the frequency is 680. Okay. And of course, we're looking for a wavelength, so we can divide by uh, uh, 680. Okay, and of course, we can get a wavelength there to be 0 0.5. So that would be 0 0.5 meters. That's our wavelength. Okay. Uh, and they tell us that the ambulance now moves at a constant speed along the road towards the man. Okay, so remember the ambulance is approaching. Okay, so what am I expecting? I'm expecting that the frequency, the detected frequency now should be higher than as it moves towards, right? Um, so they say the detector now records a wavelength of the sound which differs from the previous reading. Uh, uh, by 0 0.05 so they are saying the difference please I want you to note what they are saying there the difference in wavelength that is de uh, detected okay is 0 0.05 what does that mean because we know that the wavelength in this case now please I want you to listen carefully right the wavelength that is detected this time because, you know, those wavelengths, uh, uh, I mean, it would be shorter wavelengths. That's what leads to a higher uh, pitch. So it would mean that uh, the detected, the new wavelength should be less by 0 0.05. So you'd say 0 0.5 minus that 0 0.05. Okay, I know I'm getting uh, ahead of myself. Okay, right. And uh, let's go for the next question. Okay, so they say state the Doppler effect. Um, okay, we know that it is, it is the apparent change in the frequency of sound that is detected by the listener. Okay, when the source and the sound are moving relative uh, to the, yeah, uh, uh, relative to the uh, medium of sound propagation. Okay, or you can say when the source and the listener are moving relative to each other. Um, you know, relative to the speed of sound. Okay, right. Now, uh, in this case, let's look at uh, how would each of the following have changed when the ambulance approached the detector compared to when the ambulance was stationary. 
Now they say to you choose increase, decrease or remain or, or no change. Okay, they say the distance between the wave fronts, as we were saying, if you were to think about the wave fronts before, um, let's say the distance between them would be 0 0.5. But now once the ambulance starts moving, of course that distance would actually be now uh, shorter, okay, uh, in this case. So uh, those wave fronts would be moving because uh, remember we're talking about moving towards. And how short would they be? Uh, they did say to us by 0 0.05. So the difference now would be 0 0.5 minus that 0 0.05. Okay, I'm explaining a lot. Okay, so uh, what would be the, uh, the distance between the wave fronts in this case? Uh, they would have decreased. Okay, so 6.3.1 uh, would simply be... Uh, decrease okay right and then uh, the frequency of the detected waves right okay so in this case remember that we are expecting a higher pitch so there'd be more uh, waves that are hitting us per second so in this case it would increase okay I'm sure you are able to get this right for those of you who've already written Okay, now the last part, they say calculate the speed of the ambulance, okay. Uh, so we're just going to use our Doppler effect equation. So FL, that's V plus minus VL, that's V plus minus VS multiplied by the frequency of sound, uh, frequency of the source rather. So we didn't know what our... Uh, you know, detected frequency is. Uh, you remember that, ne? However, as I did say, already what did we know? We know that it has decreased by 0 0.5. So what should be our new wavelength? Our new wavelength should be 0 0.5 minus 0 0.05. Okay? And so that should be 0 0.45 meters. So if you want to get the frequency of the listener, so what we can do is just simply say, okay, let's find the frequency, uh, the detected frequency. It's going to be, we're going to use the very same equation. So frequency would be speed divided by the wavelength. So in this case, uh, I would have the speed of sound was 340 divided by uh, my new you know, uh, what would that be? Uh, so that's 340 divided by uh, 0 0.45. Okay. Um, and I get now a... Okay, I get a, a 755.55 hertz. Okay. So that's my new frequency, my detected frequency. So that's 755.55, okay? And that's my detected frequency. Keep that in mind, right? All right, so uh, that's going to be the speed of sound. That's 340. Now the velocity of the listener, remember that our listener is stationary. That's that man there, okay? Divided by, that's 340. We're still going to... Uh, make a decision about the plus or minus. Uh, the speed of the source, that's what we're looking for. However, now we need to make a decision about this one uh, over here. So, please keep in mind uh, that if we are looking at, um, you know, uh, obviously we want our fraction or, or rather the answer to be higher, so what type of fraction should this be? Uh, it should be an improper fraction. It means that in this case, the denominator must be less uh, than the numerator. So that would be minus there. And of course, if you still don't understand this, it means you haven't watched our, uh, you know, the full video on the Doppler effect. I make it quite easy, right? So multiplied by the frequency of the source and my source was at 680, okay? Um, right, and then let's find out what is uh, our final answer. 
Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do is say 755.55 divided by 680. Um, so divide both sides by... Okay, you can do this any way uh, that you prefer. Okay, so I'm just going to divide by 680. Sorry, on both sides. Okay, that will cancel that. Okay, and that gives me 1.11. Okay, I'm not going to remove it. Uh, 1.11. Okay, but this is equal to 340 over 340 minus Vs. Right, you can approach this uh, any way that you like. Uh, look at this. I didn't even include. Uh, remember, this was 340 over 0 0.45 sorry about that I uh, didn't actually write it out properly there okay uh, so in this case uh, of course now we can actually cross multiply the two okay and say okay in fact you know what uh, you can do that however you like let me just give the yeah the final answer let me just work it out on the calculator here um, okay, so uh, obviously after taking that, cross multiplying, doing all your mathematical gymnastics, I find the final answer. Uh, uh, this is the answer that I got there. And my final answer, please you can just work it out for yourself. Uh, so VS, I got that to be 34 meters per second. Okay. And that would be the speed of our ambulance. Uh, of course, uh, if there's something wrong that I did, you can just let me know on the uh, on the comments. All right. But otherwise, uh, that is how the cookie crumbles. All right. And I'll see you guys again next time. Please, uh, uh, once again, don't forget to tell, uh, you know, the current grade 11s, you know, who still ha are yet to do physics uh, in the next year. Uh, that, yeah, uh, this is a great plug when it comes to, you know, learning physical science. Okay, they actually have a chance of really, really doing well uh, if they start early. Okay, and I would say they start as soon as possible. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Shop.